Alyssa, what's that big vest you got on? Like, you look a little goofy, huh? Well, you know, that's kind of rude because I think I look pretty cool. Do you see where I'm at? Like, I think it's pretty fitting. Also, it has a lot of pockets for, you know, activities such as this knife. So, yeah, um, hopefully anybody will see me with this and be like, oh, sh oh sh like, I'm not going to try her. We also got, you know, some Aquaphor. The essentials really and i also have pepper spray so don't you fret okay you know i'm just exploring i'm seeing some moss right now i'm actually currently listening to gathering moss by robin wall kimmerer and i'm like oh like i wish i knew what type of moss this was because she would totally know you know and i'm looking at it and it's pretty cool hey what's up uh okay so i'm in the woods it's nine o'clock in the morning. You know, I wanted to come here when I, when hopefully nobody, nobody would be here because I don't really like people. Like they kind of, I don't know. You know, do I look cool? I think I look cool. Hey, like what's up? And I keep hearing weird noises. Let me show you what I'm reading. Oh, I'm like on this log and it's really sketch. I'm currently reading Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Um, I'm not that far into it, but I'm enjoying it. Our main character, his name's the Milkman. Um, well, that's his nickname. But I think it's just basically gonna be about his experience with life and racism and being a black person in America. I don't know, I think it's in the 1930s. I think that's what it's about. I don't really know because I haven't read that much, but you know, it's really beautiful out here. I should come out here more. It's just like, <sighs> I get scared sometimes, you know? And like, I wish, ooh, I just walked into like a spider web or some shit. I wish women didn't have to, can you see me? I don't think you can see me, hello? Oh, I totally did walk into a spider web, okay. You know, I wish women didn't have to worry about like going places alone. Like I wish I could just go anywhere and be like, hey, I'm alone in the woods, who cares? There's no bears in here, um, so. I'd be pretty scared if I saw a man. I guess let's go find a spot to read. Preferably more out in the open, just in case there's, you know, a creeper. Let's go. Let's go read. What are you reading? Hmm. Do you think I'd be able to, like, take plants and propagate them from the forest? I don't know. I'm just going to leave them because whatever. What are you reading right now? Let me know. Comment down below. Hey, guess what? It's time for breakfast. Can you see me? I don't know if you can see me. What's on the menu, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. So first we got some water. I forgot my water bottle, okay? So I had to go to the gas station and use a plastic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I also have some tea because I haven't had any caffeine today. I usually make myself a cup of tea in the morning, but we didn't do that, so. <sighs> I didn't bring bug spray and there's like bugs all over. Um, And then we got some nuts, roasted and salted mixed nuts. Also, we have, I already started eating this in the car, a vegan protein cookie, white chocolate macadamia. Delicious. <laughs> it's starting to warm up. You ever just don't have a hair tie so you kind of like tie your hair in a knot like that? It works wonders. I need to pop open this tea. I need some caffeine in my system. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A nice old sweet tea in my system. Get in my belly. These motherfuckers be funny as hell. Also, I saw a bee. I think that means it's time for me to go home. Also, there's a spider living like on my car. Can you see that?
What? Shows it yellow. D and E. D plus E. D. Who's that? It's Dai. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I finished the book. This book is incredible. I. Uh, huh? When I told y'all, I was like, I don't really know what this is about. I think it's about like this black man and his experience with life in America. Y'all, it is so much more than that. Hey, girl. So this is a coming of age story. He goes on a journey. He has experiences. He learns things. Like I, dude, her writing is beautiful. Do you see those tabs? Do you see those tabs, y'all? <laughs> Look, I never tab my books. I never tab my books. I literally bought these specifically for this book because I started putting sticky notes in it. And I was like, no, like, I, <sighs> not much happens in the book but also so much happens at the same time and it touches on like subjects throughout history and it mentions Emmett Till and like things that actually happened in real life y'all like why have I not read a book by her before I like now I need to read all of her books this book explores the effects and the trauma that white supremacy has on black people and the like their relationships between black people with w whether it's friendships or family it talks about like generational trauma the absence of a loving father and the and and the effects of that as well and it talks about like relationships with women i feel like i feel like a lot of the women in this book were portrayed as like not crazy but like a little bit crazy i don't know like most of the women in this book were portrayed as like very i don't know what the word is not eccentric kind of like pilot oh my god i love her let's get into some quotes maybe some of y'all have heard this already oh but it's just she was the third beer not the first one which the throat receives with almost tearful gratitude nor the second that confirms and extends the pleasure of the first but the third the one that you drink because it's there, because it can't hurt, and because what difference does it make? <laughs> like, that's... Uh, you see what I mean? Like, the women just were not respected. I think that was trying to portray, like, Milkman's view. Like, that was his view of the women in, these, in this book. And I feel like he just thought, like, everybody else is wrong except for me. And he goes on this journey of, like, oh my god. Okay, this quote like also like represents the craziness of the women i guess she could not get his love and the possibility that he did not think of her at all was intolerable so she settled for his fear oh and uh, i don't know just like just the way she wrote everything and like the metaphors she made and like the writing was just incredible wanna fly you've got to give up the shit that weighs you down and that's just facts but yeah like he's just going on this journey and like finding out like his roots and it helps him to understand his parents more and like the trauma and the things that they went through to see like why they are the way they are and i'm just like oh, y'all this book was so good i want to cry oh, generational trauma y'all and then the ending of this book y'all the ending of this book Oh, I just found another quote. He can't value you more than you value yourself. <laughs> and that's the f***ing truth. You only accept the love that you think you deserve. I don't even know, y'all. This book, like, oh my god. Incredible. Like, absolutely incredible. And the writing and, like, the characters were so... They felt so real. And I go, read this damn book. I need to read more by her. And I keep thinking about it. I finished this two days ago and I can't stop thinking about it. Literally, after I read the last page, it made me want to go back and read the beginning again. I was like, so yes, that was, those are, those, that, that, those are my thoughts. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why 
are you still here, you freak? Get out of here. <laughs> okay, bye.